What is up ladies and gentlemen, so for this video I'm going to show you how to install both games and install the patches, all the map packs and everything and the 4k mod to get you up to scratch. So first what you're going to do, you're either going to go on Origin or Steam and what you're going to do is you're going to download both games. So you need Tiberium Wars to play Kane Draft. So what you do is run Tiberium Wars and once you've done that, close it, run Kane Draft. And once you've done that and close it, that's all you need to do for step one. Run it and close it pretty much. Verify your files. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to CNC Online. You can find the link in the description for everything and it will be time stamped. So what we're going to do is register our account. So let's go Bike Rush second account. Let's just make it easy. Bike Rush 12345. Uh, email. I'm going to just put in a. Um, hmm. I'm gonna put in a not a usable, I don't really use this email, whatever. I'm gonna put the email in and then I'm gonna put my password in. We are now registered. So, next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to your email and you're gonna see this welcome to CNC, the new server multiplayer, and you're gonna click it to verify your account. Okay, now you verified your account, you can log in, uh, uh, use the password. And then, okay, server login name and server password. So what we're going to do now is, oh no, go away, dude, Google. What we're going to do now is make a server name. So let's just put YouTube one, two, three, four passwords. And then what you're going to have is your server name here, uh, server login email here and your password. So what you got to do is remember that this is going to work for Kane Draft. Tiberium Wars, Red Alert 3, and Generals, I believe. It's going to work for all three games. The same with Red Alert 3 if you want to play it. Okay, now you've got this. What we're going to do is download CNC Net. So, I mean CNC Online. We're going to download the program to run online. We're going to set the terms. Hopefully, it don't steal our soul. All right, we're going to install this. And once we're installed, we'll get to the next step. Okay, just press yes, install it, finish it, go to our desktop where it will be. And then, as you can see, CNC Net Online, I just run it. So what you want to do is run it. And now, if you click this right here, it's going to load the game up, okay? And we're going to go online. And boom, there we go. But we're going to go back. I'm just going to show you something else real quick. So what you want to do is hook your uh, games as well. You're going to hook this. You're going to hook this. Whatever you want to play, you're just going to hook them from your Steam. And it will hook them like this. And then run Kane Draft. Load it up, uh, hook your games to make it so it runs the game correctly. Alright, now we can go online on the server. So let's put our YouTube 1234 and then password. Just put any like this and boom, you're online. You're on the server. So it's that simple. You do the same for any other game or the CNC online platform. And now you can open this up and boom. But you're not going to have the patches, so what we need to do is get command post now. Our next move is for command post. Alright, now we're on command post. So what we're going to do is download command post top left here. Press in, press download, install it. Here we go. We're going to install command post. Ba bam ba boom. Uh, and select, uh, just let it do it itself. It's going to find it now. I did uninstall it, and so we're reinstalling it now because I wanted to do it for the video. So this is where all your, your all your replay packs are, all your map packs, all your all, everything is on this on command post pretty much. So now we've installed it, run command post here, and so we have to register or log in. So what we're going to do is we're going to register um let's put any profile put the password in and then let's do the email again okay so it's got our it's got our old email it's got our old account so we can't we can't register with this but that's how you register and just check your email click on register and put it in so we're just going to put in my normal name account and then we're going to log in boom all right so now we're in here what it's going to do is this it's going to do your starter packs so this is what you can do got a great little start here it's, and then you can install this so you just click all of these if you haven't got them you just click all this and it does it for itself does it for you uh and then you can join the discord here for any help all right so anyway if you have any troubles the map packs are here so what we're going to do is to go to hosted we're going to go to this one 
And this is the newest patch, R18F. And then we're going to press install. Let's re-download it and install. And then it's going to download on the top right. We're going to wait for it, in, for it to download. Okay, now this is downloading. It's going to extract and it's going to run this. So we're going to run this patch right now. This is the newest patch. This is how you play the newest patch with everyone online. So what you're going to do, enable, disable EA Splasher logo. Uh, enable this as well for direct uh, Discord. Uh, sorry, on your desktop. So it, it runs it. Directly launches online. And there you go. Boom. It completed. It will install that. And you just do the repeat for everything down here. You do it for this one. You do the map pack 2. You download R18F, uh, map pack 3. You just it just install the latest version. Anytime it says latest version, just install it. And then if you want 1.3 different patch, but all different maps, and then you can install this, install this, install this. Uh, don't worry about these. And you can install these map packs here, pred maps here too. And then that's pretty much all the map packs there. You just have to go to hosted, not local, but hosted. Okay, next, what you want to do is if you want to go to patches as well, just go here, install this R18F. So you do what you did, what I did last time, just install it and it'll do it automatically, run it, easy peasy. Okay, next, the 4K mod. So Master Leaf made a 4K mod. So all you got to do, it's really simple. All you got to do, press this. And if you launch your game now, it won't say anything with the 4K. But let's just install it. Let's download it and install it. Okay, so it's downloaded. We're extracting it now. So all we're going to do, nice and simple, we're going to wait for it to extract. And it's going to open up some options for us. So just stay on this screen, pretty much. Don't move. And it's downloaded. So all we got to wait for it to click up. There we go. It's clicked up. So there's a whole setup. Press next. So... You can install the rain features, enabled rocket. You can enable all of this if your computer can handle it. I don't recommend it if you don't have a good computer, but pretty much. And then install. All you do is wait for it to install. Okay, that's successfully installed. So we've got the 4K mod. Plus there are more, mod, uh, more mods here. A few mods if you want to install them, but that's just the basic what you need to play the real game. So now what we're going to do is just go to Steam, press play, press Kane Draft. Go to CNC net because it's hooked. So it will load it up. And then we're going to load in the game now. And you're going to see top right. If you have that, if you have the 4K working and enabled, it's going to be on the top right side of this. As you're going to see, 4K mod add on on the top right here. So everything's installed. You got the 4K mod, you got the maps, you got the patches. Let's just get in here now. Let's log on. We want to play some games with our friends. Let's just go to Russian lobby one. No one's there. Uh, host unranked by the way because no one cares about ranked and as you're gonna see you can either play your 1.3 I don't not many people play 1.3, but R18 is what you're gonna want to play uh, These are the maps you're gonna have all new maps on there now And this is how you play Kane draft nowadays You're gonna need these map packs and the patch and as you can see all is working pretty much and then you just set your rules You know whatever money you want that don't worry about this and there you go, that's how you play the latest version of Kane Draft while installing all the map packs and patches. And a few more useful things with Command Post. There are replays. All you have to do is go to Hosted if you want to learn to play the game. And uh, you got loads of replays here. So replay system is here. There's 1,000 <laughs> 1, replays on it so far. Oh, you can go to uh, Propriority as well on the top ones. And then you can watch these replays. All you got to do is press Download. And then it'll run it for you. So just watch now pretty much. And boom, it'll load the game up. Uh, if you want to keep track of tournaments, there's a tournament racket here. You can see all the tournaments, what's going on. If you want to join a tournament, all you got to do is press this. And then press sign up. And it'll give you a countdown and where to be. Um, mostly people use the VPN. So there are VPN servers. To play the VPN servers, all you've got to do is connect. So this is for tournament play. Most people use this. You can run the uh, VPN like this. Boom, you're connected. Back to the tournaments as well. It has a champion's table as well. If you want to go over to the champion's table. As you can see, the ranking system for tournament wins and losses are here. If you want to check tournament history, say me. Go on here. And all you have to do is click on it. And go to this and then you'll see the bracket and then go here you can you can see the matches and stuff so it's pretty it's pretty nice you can see everything and uh, just gonna show you how to use this VPN if you can't connect to CNC online or you want to play in a tournament you can connect to this like here we're gonna run the game 
And all you're going to do is load up, go to network, and go here. And this is where the VPN will be. Obviously, no one's using it right now, but that's how you use a VPN for tournaments. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you play King Draft nowadays.